Hello, everybody, and welcome to this presentation in Trinity about this overview of visa and immigration process. My name is Antonio De Linares, and I'm the regional manager for the MENA region in the Trinity Global Relations Office. And I am Abby Odakea. I work with the International Student Experience Team with the Global Relations Office. In this presentation, first of all, you will learn actually if you need a study visa. Then you will also figure out about the students that need a visa to enter to Ireland and the students that they actually don't need a visa to enter Ireland. And finally, we will explain to you what the students they have to register with the registration service, which is an independent process from the two previous ones. All right, so first of all, who actually needs a visa to study in Ireland? If you are an EU citizen or currently possess an EU passport, you do not need to apply for a study visa to enter Ireland, as all EU citizens have the right to live, study and work in any country in the EU. Students from about 50 countries do not need to apply for a visa prior to entering Ireland. Some of these include Australia, Canada, the UAE, Hong Kong, the USA, uh, South Africa, most of the Caribbean and Latin America. Students from about 112 countries do need to apply for a visa before entering Ireland. Some of these include China, India, Indonesia, Thailand, and many African countries. You can check the link below at the bottom of this slide to see if you need a visa as these may change. For students who need a visa to uh, enter Ireland, you have to apply online. You can see the, the link at the top of this slide, and the following are the required documents. Very important. You need to have an offer letter from Trinity. You will also need a proof of English and to prove that you have at least 5.0 in IELTS or equivalent in TOEFL, in Pearson, and in many others, including Duolingo, which is a, a novelty. When we talk about funds, you also need to show that you have 6,000 euros that has been paid towards the tuition fee at the time of the application. You have to prove, uh, to show the proof of funds to pay the rest of the fees. Living expenses as well, you should need 7,000 euros to cover for the year minimum. However, if you are coming to Trinity, to Dublin, we recommend you to have 15,000 euros and also to prove that you have an extreme of income that will allow to cover your, the time of your degree of your, of your master. Your degree typically in Trinity is four years, but it can be up to five years. Medical insurance is another thing that you have to show us as well, not show us, but show the, to the Irish government, and the proof of identity, the application form, and other relevant material. We strongly recommend to keep an eye on the immigration website. You can see the link there, because many of the regulations from one month to another may change it slightly, and we don't want you to have any problem at all in your visa application. We recommend you to submit the application as soon as possible. However, you can only apply for the visa three months before coming to Ireland. But then, then try to be ready in these three months in advance in case that you have any problem, you can have time to change and to, to look for the documents that you may be missing. Notice that even in Trinity, we may not require for your programs, for your application, IELTS or TOEFL or any other proof of English, still you may need to prove your English uh, with a certificate for the immigration services. All right, for students who do not need a visa to enter Ireland, these may be asked of you at the Dublin Airport Immigration Control. You do need to show your offer letter from Trinity. This will definitely be asked. Your proof of funds might also be asked for. So this is 6,000 euro being paid towards your fees or an intention to pay during your registration. Proof that you have funds to pay for the rest of the fees or a stream of income, as Antonio pointed out, and proof of living expenses. Proof that you can also be funded um, for the duration of your degree, and this can be up to five years. If you have any questions about how you can prove these, please don't hesitate to contact us. You may also be asked for medical insurance. Now, when you get to Ireland, this is the process for students who are not EU citizens and did not enter Ireland on an EU passport. You must register with immigration or with the Irish Naturalization and Immigration Service. This is regardless of whether or not you needed to apply for a visa. As long as you are not an EU citizen, you must register with the Immigration Service. 
A landing stamp is put on your passport at the airport with the immigration control officers. And this is valid for up to 90 days. It may be less, but usually it's 90 days. Students are to register within this time with Innis and they are to register for an Irish residency permit card, also referred to as a GNIB card. This proves that you have permission to reside in Ireland for the duration given on the card. There is an online appointment system for registering. It must be done in person for the first time and you need to book an appointment online. We will give more information and go into further depth on this at pre-departure orientation and post-arrival orientation. So please be sure to keep an eye out on details for that. Thank you very much. We really hope that you found useful this presentation, but if you have any doubts, don't hesitate to contact us anytime at study at tcd.ai. You have the email there. We look forward to hearing from you and to seeing you in Dublin. Thank you very much. Thank you.